Hey, fellas, I want to post this. Maybe it'll help some of them. You see everybody posting videos saying, you know, you shoot them right there, you shoot them right there. Look how small your window is for one. Okay, you're in bone and you're in bone. You have this opening here that is lung and heart right there. Look at the size of ribs. See how short that rib is? A little longer rib, a little longer, a little longer, a little longer, a little longer. And it starts to get smaller, smaller, smaller. And them are deflated uh, lungs right now, but they'll be inflated here in a minute so you can see. The lungs cover 90% of the rib cage. And your hardest, most crucial, your more crucial shot placement is right up here, which everybody seems to be shooting right up here. But anyway, maybe this guy will say something about it here in a minute. I'll turn it up. Cage gets smaller. So when you shoot in the front of a deer, the problem you have is yes, you have the heart, yes, you have a lot of major blood vessels here, but you've got a small target where if you shoot low, you can hit to the elbow, high you can hit the shoulder blade. You really don't have much. Take a look at my fingers of a shot. If we shoot back farther in here, we have a bigger target. Now you would say, well, why don't you shoot way back here? That's your biggest target. Anyway, I want to put this on so you guys can see, man. Everybody's telling you to shoot up here. I mean, I understand you got a high-powered rifle or you're shooting a peep, a release, a compound. You know, you're a tack driver. But when you're shooting a trad bow, I mean, you know, you're instinctive shooting, you want your best odds, fella. You're not going to want to follow right up that leg and shoot right in there as your trap. You're going to hit bone or you're going to hit shoulder blade. You're not even going to penetrate through with some of them trad bows. That's that's one of the worst places you could actually be, not unless you're a tack driver at, at 20, 30 yards. But back here, you just you follow up the back of the leg and then make a little angle back, and you're in the most forgiving spot uh, of the deer to shoot your trad bow. I'll get this to where he starts to blow up the lung so you guys can actually see the cavity. There it is. And how much uh, it blows up. Watch this. Right there. You have your, your biggest most forgiving spot right there so anyway, you guys want to check out more of this video but i keep seeing all these younger guys you know you shoot right there oh that's the best shot man that's the best shot for a high power rifle if you're a tax driver you're shooting a tread though you want your most forgiving shot you now, don't want to shoot back there you see the sides of the back where it's detached that the lungs go all the way to the top they don't have the top just because the animal is cut open doing their life. I want you to see where the heart is here. It's a sixth rib. The lungs totally envelop and cover over the heart. Which means if you hit a heart shot, you're also making a lung shot. And you see I'm pulsating the air to be able to simulate the way that it would be. So I'm going to let it go all the way down. Anyway, I don't want to make my video too long. Anyway, that gives you a good idea. You see all these guys saying, all oh, right here, right here. The best way for success in any hunting situation is to find and gain your best odds of success. And that is up the back leg, diagonal, diagonal back to your most forgiving target for error. And that's right back there. It's not up here, man. You'd be on a busted shoulder blade. You're not even going to break through it with your... Your bow, man. You're going to hit a heavy bone up there. Anyway, you got a lot smaller window right there, fellas. That's all I'm saying. I'll post this. You guys can check out his video if you want. But uh, <laughs> I was a guide for years, man. I cleaned a whole bunch of deer. This guy's right on the money. I know a lot of people say, no, right there, right there, right there. The heart, the best shit. Bow. Man, if you got a high powered rifle, yeah. If you got a compound bow, peep sight, releases, all that good crap, maybe so. But you're shooting trad. Follow up to back that leg, diagonal back. You have your most forgiving, your best odds of success right back there with your tread bow. We'll see you, fellas.